Hi and welcome to another video from one of my Udemy courses. I hope you find this video informative. To view the full course and get big discounts off the full price, please see the link in the description. Okay, in this lecture we're going to talk about recording equipment. The bad news about recording equipment is that if you don't have the right equipment, you're going to have a really hard time getting good sound and good quality. But the good news is, it's really easy to get set up with a nice recording system for very little. What you're looking at here is a picture of my actual recording setup. And you can see it's really simple. I have my laptop, I have a mouse, I have a blue snowball microphone, and I have a $9 pop screen or pop filter. Obviously when you're creating screencast videos you don't need any video camera and all your visual is going to be coming straight off of your computer which means that the single most important thing that you need to get right is your audio. And the Blue Snowball microphone is a fantastic microphone. You can get them for about 50 to 70 bucks which I know is a little chunk of change but believe you me it will make your life so much easier. You can pay more for a mic. A lot of people use the Blue Yeti mic and some people prefer one over the other. The Blue Yeti is more expensive and it does have some additional features, I believe. But for the purposes of just recording your voice straight into your computer, the Blue Snowball is awesome. I highly, highly recommend getting one. I don't recommend trying to use the microphone on your computer because you're gonna pick up a ton of background noise and the noise of your computer's fan. And unless you're a professional audio editor, it's gonna be almost impossible to get it to sound good. With the Blue Snowball, I record my voice, and the only thing I ever change is I increase some points in the volume and I decrease some points in the volume during parts of the video where I either turn away from the mic like this and you can hear my voice kind of fade out, or I move in too close to the mic and I'm talking too loud. But other than that, if I keep my head the right distance away from the mic, all I have to do is increase the volume of the entire track a little bit just to give it some more punch, and it sounds just fine. One thing some of you may run into is echo, and this depends on your room that you're recording in. I've heard a lot of people have major problems with this to the point where they have to build sound cushioning structures around their microphone. I do my recordings as you can see in a pretty open room with actually fairly bare walls and the microphone does an amazing job of not picking any of that up. Now if I was worried about it and I have tried this in the past I've actually just taken some pillows and padded them around the microphone or you could get a little sound box that you set your microphone in that will take care of all of that. It's not really necessary in my situation, but everyone's going to be different. But it really is as easy as that to get a complete recording setup that will sound great on your Camtasia screencast recordings. Thanks for watching. I hope you found that helpful. If you want to check out the full course and get some big discounts, check out the link in the description below.